Today I have with me the runner-up of Tata Innovent Hackathon 2024. This hackathon is your opportunity to win 4.5 lakh rupees in cash price and also get an internship and a full-time job offer with the Tata Technology Group. This hackathon is open to everyone who is in their final or pre-final year and you are graduating in 2026 or 2027 and you are currently pursuing BE, BTech, Diploma or dual degree courses irrespective of your college and branch. The applications are currently open. Check out the link in the description and apply as soon as you can. And I have with me Tanisha Sharma, the runner-up of Innovent 2024 who has recently graduated from Thapar University and has won multiple hackathons. Hi, Amisha. Thank you for having me here. So what is the eligibility of the program? Eligibility is again for all the students who are in their pre-final or the third year and the final year, that's the fourth year. Like people graduating in 2026 and 27. And then as they mentioned that minimum one and maximum five, it's because the team size is probably one to five members. And also it's mentioned diverse teams are preferred. So if you include women and other, uh, you know, probably especially abled uh candidates etc everything is mentioned then uh maybe your chances of winning increase so diverse teams are preferred what is the program structure like uh initially we need to register and uh there we had to select a theme for which we were proposing a solution and under that theme there was a sub category so there were four categories uh during my time so i registered in ai driven solutions for customers and uh, we just had to mention details like our team name, you know, and our college. We had to give contact details of our TPOs and mention what was the problem statement that we were going to solve and what was our proposed solution. And then uh, once we submitted that, around mid-August, we got the results for the first stage. From the first round, the top 30 teams were selected and there were like 2,500 plus ideas across um, colleges in, uh, around India. And there were 9,400 participants from which the top 30 teams were selected for the second round. Then from mid-August, again, they had a separate form where we had to uh, fill in our video pitch, our presentations, and explain our idea in detail. Uh, in September was the third round where they selected the top 10 ideas which they felt were good enough to progress. And then we had the final demo day round in January of 2025. First of all, let's talk about the first round in which you have to basically give a title for your project and you have to select the category. So this year, the theme is innovating the future of smart mobility. Uh, so can you tell a little more about this stage and how to you know think of an idea? We had one main problem statement, which was uh, something along the lines of AI driven solutions for uh, customer centric. I mean, that was the main theme that we had to think of an idea where we could use AI to solve a problem. So how I approached the problem was I was working on a Capstone project and there we were working on multimodal image and audio fusion. So from that, I could relate that, okay, in uh, auto automobiles, what happens is we have a lot of ambient noise that is there. So we could probably use AI to cancel out all that and make a noise cancellation system. So I got my idea from there and I uh, also registered for the hackathon. So at that time, I just uh, chose the theme accordingly out of the options. And uh, then, of course, we had to fill in the other details as a like the team, uh, if we are registering as an individual participant or in a team of more than one. And then we had to mention uh, our details of the college. It was basically just giving an idea, um, identifying the problem statement and then giving a solution to solve that problem statement. Uh, and as I mentioned, uh, the theme for this year is innovating the future of smart mobility. So if you register, you will see that these are the categories. Uh, AI and AI embedded intelligence, software defined vehicle platforms, uh, and whatever category you choose, you will have to choose a project subcategory also. So if I choose AI and embedded intelligence, I have these generative AI co-pilot, edge AI models, AI ML based vehicle health diagnostics, and uh, intelligent fault isolation and self-heating system. So please read through these before you think of an idea. Uh, your idea should fall under one of these categories. You also need to explain this you know, problem in 4,000 characters and uh, which technologies you are thinking of using key benefits and impact and what is the current state of your project and if this is entirely conceptualized from your team and directly not a copy what research or knowledge you have uh, and a google link with these documents like you know 
detailed project presentation as per the template supporting images and videos of the POC and scan copies of college IDs. Uh, so can you tell me a little about this detailed project presentation? On their website only, they have uh, a few rules and regulations. And based on that, we have to make our presentation. Introduction, where we have a basic introduction about ourselves, uh, about our college, about our team. Then problem statement, you have to define that, what problem you are solving. Then objective and approach. Here is where you mention that what is the solution that you are working on. And in the solution overview, uh, on a high level, you have to mention it's like you want to pitch an idea. So keep that in mind, like in, especially in for this round, for the other rounds, we have to go more in detail. But especially for the first round, it needs to be clear where we are like pitching our idea that, OK, this is the problem and this is how I am solving it or this is how my team is solving it. Then solution overview follows from the objective and approach as well. Challenges faced, again, you have to think that, you know, while implementing your solution, what are the possible challenges that you may face? For example, in this case, it's like AI driven mobility, right? So you could mention that, you know, AI could uh, like all the problems that they may be faced while training our AI models or if you are making embedded systems. So you could mention that, you know, how would we integrate the hardware with the actual vehicle? Then in the technical implementation, you could mention the tech stack. And in the results and achievements, like if you are a software based, if you have a software based solution, so you can mention the results that, okay, this much accuracy or this much uh, like uh, whatever metric that you are evaluating your model with. And demonstration here, you could, of course, mention briefly that how your project is working. Future enhancements is you mentioned that what are the future steps that you propose that if your idea is selected, what would you do in the future? And project plan would include the timeline that what do you plan, like what's the timeline of completing the project. And here in results and achievements, I think you can also mention uh, like, you know, data. So if you have some research papers, like, you know, that this is a problem faced by these many number of people. So you can say that we can help these many number of people or maybe, you know, these many number of specially able people will be, uh, you know, benefited by our solution, something like that. So you can also have uh, results based on that. I could definitely tell you how I structured my presentation. So. Uh, as you know, you saw introduction, team introduction was okay. Then the problem statement. So uh, in the problem statement itself, I first mentioned that, okay, as you talked about research papers, right? That this is the problem so many people are facing and this is uh, what needs to be done. So this is something how I structured my slides during the presentation that this is the problem that is being faced by these many people and you know, this much percentage are uh, facing this particular problem. Then when I proposed my solution, I uh, mentioned the impact that could be achieved if my solution was implemented. That for particular problem statement, I mentioned that, okay, if this solution were to be implemented, this much impact could be done. Metrics could be enhanced. Then again, uh, we had the solution overview, or I think it was objective first. So again, objective would cover that what is the objective of my project, that what is it that I'm trying to achieve. So there I had a you know infographic where I mentioned that, okay, this uh, like these are the particular objectives and then we had the solution overview there i first mentioned on a high level overview what is the solution and then why is the solution like whatever my solution is there why should that solution be implemented for that particular statement because results and achievements again i mentioned that since i had trained a model so i mentioned that this much was the accuracy and this much was the performance rate and then we had uh, challenges faced again i identified the challenges which may come up but alongside that, I even mentioned that this is how we can solve those challenges if given the opportunity to uh, proceed. And then finally, we had a small video where we had to showcase our project. So over there, I just had a uh, project demonstrating a simple simulation because at that time, my uh, project was also in the idea phase only. The main thing is that you should have a pitch that is easy to understand, like assuming I am a uh, a layman and i don't know what is your solution so i need to be able to understand that what is the problem that you are trying to solve and what is the solution that you are giving if i am able to understand that so there's a high chance that your idea will progress further so keep that in mind and for designing the template as well there are a few general tips that you know we need to keep it structured and balanced that there should not be too much text and there should not be too much images there should be a balance of both and try to use infographics as much as you can try to make the flow of the presentation clear to understand. Yeah, this is the evaluation criteria. So all the projects will be evaluated against this, these parameters like diversity of ideas. So it should be diverse uh, 
you know and it should include representation of diverse genders uh, especially able team members uh, etc so you should think of you know if your solution because it's mobility based so is it also feasible for someone who has some you know they're especially able if they have some mobility issue will that work for them then how novel it is like you know is it already existing or is it unique then feasibility can you actually build something or is it just you have written some you know idea which cannot be executed and finally what is the future impact and scalability now coming to the next uh, stage that is the virtual proof of concept poc presentation so how does it go and like what are all the things that you have to do in this stage we'll have to fill in another form similar to this and uh, in the first stage we just mention on a high level that okay this is our idea this is the problem that we are trying to solve in the second stage it goes on more technical as to what all technology you will be using what is the detailed description of the idea and what are your future steps as in if you are shortlisted for the third round how would you plan going about your project there and also we have to prepare a video demonstration of our project where we need to showcase that okay how our project is working and they'll give you a date as well that, okay, this is uh, the date where you'll be having a presentation round in front of the teams where the SMEs will be there. And uh, as I mentioned, you'll showcase your project that how is it working? And then you'll have a five to 10 minutes question answer round where again, they'll ask you questions regarding to, you know, what, how will you use the technology? How do you uh, plan to approach the project if it goes to the uh, next stage? So all that is covered in the question answer round as well. Uh, we even need to think from the business perspective, right? That whatever project that we are proposing, how will it solve the business requirement that is there for the problem statement that we have proposed? All that is covered. In, during the question answer round one more thing uh, the top 30 teams are there in the second round so before having this final presentation where you present in front of the jury you'll be having some sessions as well where they'll mentor you that okay how do you present your idea properly so you know they'll support you as well and from the second stage then they'll select the top 10 ideas so did you actually create something or you just mentioned how you'll be you'll be able um, to create my solution was software based so you know all the code and the simulation that i had run my code and you know i presented all that and the mentioning part was done in the first stage so second stage was more in detail where you had to actually show what you had done coming to the third and final stage that is the demo day so how does it go is it offline is it online so after the second stage is done you get the results in october if you are in the top 10 teams or not and once you are in the uh, top 10 finalists what happens is a mentor or a group of mentors is assigned to you for your particular project and they'll help you refine your project and take it from whatever stage you were at stage two to the refined project for stage three where you need to showcase that you know what all you have done and all the progress that you have made so then you'll have connects with those mentors as well and you have to keep on working on your project and refine it and uh, also need to mention that how much percentage your project is has been completed so that goes on for like october to january and then uh in january you'll have the final demo day where you'll be presenting your idea to the global business partners and you know everyone will be there and you have to showcase your idea in front of um, other fellow participants we have a question answer round as well where they ask you about your project. Okay, and on basis of that, three teams, top three teams, one, two, three are selected. But yes. all the top ten teams get a uh, internship interview opportunity. So you get a chance to get a internship or a full time offer with Data Technologies. Okay, once the rounds were over and the top three winners were declared, uh, how was the next steps? Like, uh, did everyone get an internship opportunity or did you get a full time opportunity? So all top ten teams were offered a full time job with Tata Technologies and the top three teams were offered internship as well and irrespective of whether you were in your third year or fourth year. Did you have to give interviews or uh, did you get a direct internship offer? After the process was complete then we had a aptitude round where we had uh, aptitude questions and coding questions and after that we got a mail from the HR uh, telling us whether we had qualified it or not. Okay just a round that's it no interviews? Yeah no. Okay so if you are in top 10 you sort of get a coding test and if you clear it you get an internship okay so thank you so much anisha uh, for this very detailed overview thank you so much amisha